Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to fill SPPU exam forms online and this procedure for first year students. So let's start. See here first you need to go on the Pune University website. Visit the website. After that, let's click on an examination. Scroll down. And here is the option exam forms online. Let's click on that exam forms online. Again, scroll down and select the link. You can uh, click on this link so you will get the new page on that will start our procedure. So sometimes this link will be not enabled due to the internet issue. So you can try for the uh, other link, but uh, you need to wait for some time because in the load on the server exam form started nowadays so it will take the time to load see we need to start from this process to login but for this we need a different detail so in short i will show you the whole procedure see here university is given the user manual so just click on this user manual you can read all these instructions step by step. Read all used for the first year students. You can read all these. Um, eligibility number is compulsory. You can take it from your college. Then you need to read the, all these uh, points. Then, after that, here procedure is uh, explained. First, you need to go on the examination. Then, we need to go on the exam forms online. Then, this one proceed to login. Just click on this proceed to login. So, uh, and this form will ask you for creating the account first. So, create account. So, while creating the account, you need to fill the uh, name as per the 10th mark sheet. Then, fill the correct email ID and mobile number. Then, verify email and mobile number. Enter the correct mobile number and your mobile number only. Sometimes, students enter in the other number and the OTP. Uh, some important messages is going on a uh, this number, wrong number. So first you need to enter the details, then verify the all the details. You need to you know, enter the captcha uh, correctly. Then only you will get this uh, OTP. Then click on the proceed button. After this entering the captcha, just click on the proceed button. So you will on the next page. So now we need to log in to exam form. So after that, log in. By using your username and uh, mobile number, then enter here the password and capture. Enter all these details and just click on the login. So you will be on the next page. So here, here you will get uh, this type of uh, console. And see after that, here you need to click on new course enrollment. Compulsory click here, new course enrollment. This is a procedure for first year students. So just click here. Then after that, select the student type. Here you need to uh, select the title of uh, new. And for the second year student, just click on the existing student. Then after that, save uh, this and then go to the next page. Here for the first year student, you need to uh, enter the, all these your personal information. Add this information very correctly because this details will be same for the all the three years or four years. For your degree course, please check the profile status is complete. After that, click on exam form. First, check the profile status and then click on exam form. So, when you are clicking on exam form, you will uh, get this type of a console. And here, just click on a proceed and uh, create a new application. For first year students, create new application. And then, here you need to uh, next uh, mention the your. Uh, pattern name means you are uh, 19. Uh, see, currently all the students in 19 pattern only. So you need to select here device pattern 2019. pattern. You need to enter the all your personal details here. Then after that, see, this is a fresh or backlog for the first year. So if student is totally fresh for uh, first year, then student must have to select the first section. And if he or she is appearing the, uh, for the backlog, so you need to select the backlog. And after that, you need to select your course, select your course, then um, 
After that, subject selection, select the word subject from the drop down list. Select the subject carefully because you need to check in the check boxes are available. So, you need to select all this subject selection. So, you will get this type of a confirm here the name or the subject code or the subject name. Confirm all the subjects from your subject teachers, from your class teachers, and then only fill the form. Otherwise, it will create a problem if you are creating the other optional subject or the subject which are not in your college. So, first confirm and then see, don't try to pick anywhere. Okay, so when you are selecting the subject by default, this internal or external will be selection will be there. So, don't change that. And after that, you need to pay the fee. So, fee structure will be uh, here. So, when you are, uh, when you will get this type of a screen uh, or the fee structure, just say confirm and the print it and you need to pay the fee. Okay, print the application like this. You need to submit this type of a application in your college and you need to pay the fee. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And if you have any uh, query regarding the same, you can type it in a comment box. I will try to solve the queries as early as possible. Thank you. Thank you very much.